Welcome to Mechanical Tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like part modeling, surface modeling, sheet metal enclosure design, plastic components design, product design, reverse engineering, simulation and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain problem using RIF feature. See, I am going to sh show you how to create rib perfectly for a circular faces. So, I am going to explain in detail. So, I am going to create the model. This is 100. I am going to create extrude 10mm height and I am going to create one more extrude so diameter is uh, 50 and extrude of 20mm See now I am going to select front plane and going to create one sketch. So I am going to keep in a wireframe. So when I create simple line, and use the rip command. So here I am going to keep 2mm. Here. when I say okay it's it is throwing an error rebuilt error the resulting rib did not intersect the existing model please try to change the extrusion direction to fix the problem so we can't create a rib with this simple sketch so sometimes what we do is We try to close this complete loop. And create an extrude. So midpoint, mid plane of 2m. See, it is matching exactly at this location. But when we, when it comes here, see, it is not matching. So to avoid uh, such problem, what we do is. remove vertical constraint simply tilt a little bit and see here here also the problem is resolved so this is one method with extrude i'm going to explain other method with the loft feature so i'm going to create one sketch to draw one simple rectangle delete these two ends draw three point arc and 
and select this edge and this arc make it o radial and uh, similarly this one and this one make it coradian and trim this better to use trim corner so that it will close the loop Select midpoint, select this origin, make it horizontal. So it is uh, constrained now. We have to add the dimension. So 2 mm. See here. Now we have to add the split feature. So select this line and select this face. And say okay. See here, there is a split feature. So we have to show the sketch so that we can create the loft. So select the loft feature and select this face and this sketch and say okay. See, this is one more method for better creating of uh, ribs. So we can use either ways these two methods. So for better visibility, I am going to add circular pattern. We have to show the temporary axis. Go to circular pattern, select this axis, and select this. So I'm going to add six. So we have to use bodies. So when you come across this kind of problem in ribs, so we have to resolve in this method with extruded feature or loft feature. Thanks for watching.